Hey guys, back today with a book haul. Now I think this is actually the first haul I've done since Christmas, so this is just an accumulation of what I've collected in the past few months. There's not a great deal here, I haven't been doing a lot of book shopping, but there are definitely some titles that I'm very excited about. So let's get going. First up, I finally got my hands on a copy of Mrs. Palfrey at the Claremont, and this is by Elizabeth Taylor. So far, I've only read her one uh, children's novel, Mossy Trotter, which I loved. I'm obsessed with that thing. It was awesome. So I am very excited to test out her adult fiction. And I do already own one other book by her, but this is the one that most people recommended. So I'm still not sure which adult novel I'm going to try out first, but I definitely wanted this in my arsenal. Next up, we have a nonfiction title. This is The American Way of Death by Jessica Mitford. This is the revisited edition. I was actually just planning on getting the regular, the original version, um, but this was basically the only one I could find. Either way, this focuses on the American funeral industry, and this is meant to be incredibly enlightening as well as very funny and witty so I am looking forward to this. Next up I picked up a copy of the play Under Milkwood by Dylan Thomas. I'm basically only familiar with Dylan Thomas through A Child's Christmas in Wales. I definitely want to become better acquainted so I'm looking forward to reading this and also seeking out a performance and this particular edition includes some supplementary material that looks pretty interesting so glad for this. Another nonfiction that I've picked up recently is this here, Scandals, Vandals and Da Vinci's, a gallery of remarkable art tales. So I think this is 26 different stories on some of the most famous and enduring paintings. I definitely like me a little bit of art history and this is just a fun way to dip in and out of a few different things. And then sort of from here, I will probably see where I want to delve next, which other artists or paintings or time periods I want specific books on. But this looks really fun. Next up, this one was passed along by my lovely friend Erin. She ended up with two copies of this and thought I might like one. And it's The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kid. And this is the beautiful 10th anniversary edition, which has its own little box. And then the paperback edition is inside here, which is very sweet. But I never read this when it was originally doing the rounds and I haven't seen the adaptation either. So I will come to this pretty fresh. So definitely looking forward to this. Yet another nonfiction I picked up is this guy here. This is Buster Keaton, The Persistence of Comedy. And this is by Imogen Sarah Smith. And I love classic cinema, including silent films, but Buster Keaton is one that I really only know from reference to other things. So I've been wanting to watch some of his films recently and I thought why not learn a little bit more about his career while I'm at it. So therefore this happened. Next up, I picked up O oh Pioneers by Willa Carthur. I've basically just heard too many good things about this to ignore it any longer. I finally grabbed it. So expect a review of this sometime soon because I'm sure I will not wait too much longer before I finally get to this. Next, I got my hands on a copy of The Summer Before the War and this is by Helen Simonson. And this only came out a year or two ago, I want to say. I saw it everywhere and was very interested. Period novel set in Edwardian England. Possibly a little bit of a love story. I'm not entirely sure. I think it sort of did the rounds on a lot of book club lists and things like that. I'm not always inclined to give those types of books a go, but this one suckered me in, so we'll see how it goes. Next up, this was actually a recommendation from my friend Erin, the same one who passed along The Secret Life of Bees. Um, this is The Darling Buds of May by H.E. Bates, and I believe this is the first in a series. I think these were published in the 50s, but set earlier, but I'm not super familiar. Just looks very twee and charming and sort of that rural English novel. Looks adorable, so I am excited to try this out. And lastly, I picked up both volumes of Hilary Sperling's Matisse biographies. The first one is The Unknown Matisse, and this is sort of before he became... The artist that he did become. So I think this one goes all the way back to childhood but I haven't started reading them yet. And then the next volume, before you comment my copies do not match, I did actually order matching copies but I was sent the wrong one so what are you gonna do? 
but the second one is Matisse the Master. So this one's definitely more about his actual career. I love Matisse, so I am definitely looking forward to learning more about his life. So that is it. Those are the newest books to my continuing collection. If you have read any of these, I would love to know what you thought of them. If there's any that you would like to hear about sooner rather than later, um, let me know as well and I will try and bump them up the list. Thank you all for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon.